Hello there guys, it is Maxo Diddley here, and today I'm here with another Java tutorial to help you get that A in your coursework, and today we're going to be here with plain music. Right, so before we get into how we code this, we need to actually get an audio file and put it in a place so our program can access it easily. So we're going to want to put it in the project folder, so you want to go to click on projects, then right click on the project that you want to play music on, mine's called play music, go to properties, there will be a file path here. You want to copy that. You want to then go to your file browser and paste it in there and you'll be at um, your project folder for your Java project. This is where you're going to want to put the sound file. I decided to put mine in a folder called music because I want to. Now we got that out of the way, make sure you get the file path. You can just copy and paste the file location. Now with that out of the way, let's get right into the code. So we're going to create a method. It's going to be public stat static void play music and string file path in here we'll do input stream and we're going to say music you can call this whatever you want i'm going to call it music because i can then we'll do a try and you want to have a catch And in here we'll do J option pane dot show message dialogue. And we want to do something like, I don't know, error. Just in case it fails to play the music, maybe the song isn't there. Maybe it's the wrong file type because this doesn't support MP3s or something like that. After that, we need to do a few lines of code. So we'll do music. Music equals new file input stream new file file path by the way music here is just referencing music there by the way so we should actually spell music properly there so whatever this is it has to be the name of your input stream because we're telling the input stream where we're actually going to get the music from if you want to do audio stream audios equals new audio stream and then you want to put the input stream in there by the way i called it audios because it sounds like adios but it's like a play on words for audio i don't know why i did that i felt like it so um yeah don't judge me then we want to do audio player dot player dot start then you want to put in whatever your audio stream is called. I'm going to call it Audios. Now you want to right click on the input stream and click fix imports. In that means we can actually fix all imports in one go. Voila. Also, make sure for your J option pane you put a null before the text. I keep forgetting to do back 7 touch Java in like a week or two or three. So that's all. Now we just need to call the methods. We'll do play music. And in here, we want to do, we want to put the file path. So I'm going to get the file path for mine right there. So guys, that is all for this tutorial. So let's just play the music. It's going to be look at my horse. It might take some time to load depending on how big your audio is. So guys, I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. Be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed. If you got a request for a tutorial, be sure to leave it down in the comments below. I can give you a shout out if I do it. Also, uh, be sure to share with your friends. Let's try and hit a thousand subs. We just hit a hundred, so let's try and hit a thousand because that would be amazing. Anyway, guys, thanks for being a great audience. We'll see you next time. 